Hello, today I'm going to show you how to add a lightsaber to an image on Photoshop. So first thing you do, you can just go on Google or get a normal image of yourself with sticks or something um, which you think you can make into a lightsaber. So I just got this picture off of Google. It's a random guy. Okay, so uh, first things first. Um, my computer might be a little messed up, so what you have to do, for me, I have to, well, I'm going to use a crop tool for this, right here. The first thing you do, just, for me, I have to go in the background layer, then go back here. So all you have to do is go to your background layer, hold alt, so it gets a little, um, thing with jiggy, click, then release alt, and then you can just cover over the stuff. I want a different color, so let's see. Um, yeah. So I'm just gonna pause it right now, and then I'm gonna finish doing this, and I'll play it again. So, all right. So, as you can see, I removed the blade from the sword. Um, I used the crop tool, which is located right here. Well, so I mean the clone stab tool. Um, yeah, you just hold Alt, get the little um, crossbar thing. You click, you take a um, part of that, and you just hold, and you just click and hold so you can cover up the sword. Um, so yeah. All right. So as, as you can see, I removed everything from the sword. Um, except this part right here, because it's going to look better with this part. Alright, so after you have removed the sword using the, using the clone tool, the clone stamp tool, um, when basically your image look like, looks like this, you have to create a new layer, so you can go up to layer, new layer, and yeah, or you can just hit cont uh, shift, control, and alright, you get this one though. Um, on this window, change the mode right here to screen, and you need to um, check this. So fill with uh, fill with screen neutral color black. You need to check that box, otherwise your light taper won't colorize. <coughs> Hit OK. Um, so we have a new layer right here. There are a couple. There's basically one easy way to do this. You get the brush tool. You pick a good size for a saber. I pick nine. I pick. Oh, uh, you need to pick white for the foreground color. Um. So yeah. Basically, um, just put a little dot where where you want the saber to start. So let's say right here. Then move your cursor. Right, little thing jig to uh, wh where you want the lightsaber to end. So right here. Ho then um, just hold shift and click again. You have that. All right. So now we have this layer which has a white lightsaber in it. We're not finished with that yet. So we're gonna need to duplicate uh, this layer three times. So you can just go up to layer. Duplicate layer. Just click that three times, or you can just hit Control J three times. So Control One, Two, Three. Right, so as you can see, we have three copies of layer one. So um, a lot of people do it different ways. That some people start from this layer and they go down. But I like to start from the top layer. So go to the top layer, which you probably say layer 1, copy 3, um, then once you have that layer selected, go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and give it a radius of 1. Alright, then go to the next layer down, layer 1, copy 2. Go back up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and give it a radius of 10. As you can see, we we're starting to get that lightsaber look right now, but it's not finished yet. All right, so go to the next layer, which is called Layer One Copy. Click 
on that, select it, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, give it a radius of 20. Go to the, and then go to the original light table layer, called layer 1, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and give it a radius of 40. Okay. Now, as you can see, we have that really cool-looking lightsaber glow. Alright, now you have to merge all these layers down into one. So, go to the top layer. It's called Layer 1, Copy 3. And go to Layer, Merge Down. Or, you can just hit Control e three times. So, one, two, three. So, then, all those four layers are now just one. Um... Okay, then uh, have your layer, have the lightsaber layer selected. Go up to Image Adjustments Color Balance, or you can just hit Control B. Uh, hold on, let's see, move this thing right here. All right, uh, so basically, this is where you pick what color you want your saber to be. So let's say I want my saber to be blue bluish something it's blue let's make it kinda make it like a little purplish bluish lightsaber alright so as you can see we made a purple lightsaber now um, one thing that a lot of people do is they go to shadows right here and they mess with the shadows but don't do that at all cause it just messes up the whole lightsaber let's say it's blue that's what it does to it now looks really ugly and shitty don't do that so don't mess with the shadows at all unless you're making a red lightsaber so let's see for example we're making red lightsaber right now then you can mess with the shadows to make it more like that we don't want a red lightsaber. We want a magenta-ish lightsaber. So blue. Let's go over here. All right, so that looks good, right? All right, so hit OK. And we have our lightsaber, then just hit Control E one more time, and you have your picture, and just save it. Hope this helped you. Um, I will be making more videos in the future, um, maybe on this topic. So, have fun.